Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Blockbuster Overview. Being of the topic of destruction things in video games, I never got the appeal of it. I was always thinking that concepts like that tend to just cater to ADHD kids or like even adults that have no outlet in their real life to release their anger or I don't know frustration and instead of destroying things here they do it like on the screen. If it works or not, I don't know, I was never a person like that. Though I suppose we're gonna find out today with this one. <laughs> so Blockbuster is a city destruction simulator where using five pre-built cities with five unique playable characters, you'll be able to unleash your wrath on the buildings and its citizens. But I'm not sure if they ever did something to you, but you're there to create some mayhem. This is supposedly inspired by Keiju movies, which I've never heard about this term before. Googling it now, it's this sort of franchise with Godzilla's and oversized monstrosities to destroy the humanity, I suppose. Right off the bat, I <laughs> hate their style. It's like a weird mix between the comic style and cell shading, but done in a very low quality segment that the texture just look awful. I think it's somewhat similar to the Tarzan game that released back in the day. There was surely some work put into it, but I'm not sure if through optimization for Quest it was pretty much run over unless the trailer doesn't really justify it and we'll see inside. I don't necessarily see the appeal of it nor longevity gameplay wise. It's you know, this distraction centered thing with collectibles, achievements and sort of stuff. I'll give them that it seems unique, but I don't know if in the right direction. And seeing this project now, I fully understand people who say that Quest Library is full of games that don't have much depth going on. We'll give it a try, though I expect to play for about 10 minutes and get bored of it. But everyone has an equal chance to surprise me and, well, <laughs> we'll see about that. Let's go to the gameplay. You know what's interesting? Seeing this black environment and stuff? This game has a local dimming, <laughs> like built in. I would never expect for it to have it, but okay. <laughs> um, we need to punch. I hope we can change this. This is essentially choosing our bedroom of some sorts. This seems nice. Ew! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> A bustling coastal city on the cutting edge of technology. Okay. Each city is broken into zones. Find the generator and pull up to unplug it. I want locomotion settings. Oh, is everyone with punching here? No. That's a rough start. <laughs> what am I playing? Do we really have no smooth loco? Like, that makes no sense in a game like that. There's nothing. Oof. Disgusting. What the hell did I just punch? So we just do our thing, I guess. Come here. <laughs> My God. <laughs> 
We definitely have some goals. What do we do? Can we climb? Excuse me? Yes. I'm so bothered by the commotion, like I'm over it. A few minutes into the game. Oh. The physics are also rough. The score is still zero. Do you have some goals? Do we just... Like, I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> like... Pick up Amos model to select your costume. Hello? What? Collection, multiplayer... Oh hell no, I'm not playing with other people. I would be ashamed. <laughs> I'm baffled about everything that's going on. <laughs> like, we unlocked this, I remember. It was this. Like I'm just... Okay, here's the thing. Textures? God awful. Interactions? Awful. Physics? Not correct. <sighs> Instructions? Not clear. There's nothing going on. Do I eat them or something? Like I can't even grab it. Eating people and cars grants you carnage, which makes you grow and gives you powers. Oh. <laughs> Each monster has a unique power. Uh-huh. So we need to eat them. Ow, it's covering my face. The gameplay would be so much easier if I could properly move. <laughs> And 
then we shrink in size, okay. Oh, I didn't see this. We can't really teleport into them because they die. Some gameplay going on. the max so just need to find this beacon or whatever here we go Okay, but I'm just kind of over the whole thing. Like, the graphics are an absolute no. The gameplay... You can get into it, I suppose. There's something going on, like, it's not completely garbage. Though I still just don't like it. Like, first of all, locomotion. Second, graphics. Third, interactions. Fourth, more clear instructions. Like, more extensive settings. Like, there's so many things to work on. <laughs> and when I'm here, even at home, it's just ugly. <laughs> Maybe it's just the lack of experience overall. Like, this headset is capable of so much more. This is the bare minimum of stuff. Even if the physics, or maybe even it's not physics, like destructible stuff. This can be so much more than what it is now. That's it. 